If you're doing cam inside of Fusion 360, chances are at some point you gotta drill a hole. Oh, you're like Mark, that you gotta drill a lot of them. Here's a couple of my tricks how to handle that. Let's go. Hey everybody, and thank you so much for taking the time. Mark emailed me this question. My email address is down in the description area of this video if you have any future topics. Mark have to drill a lot of holes and um, even in a sheet that is so big that it maybe can't fit on his machine. How to go about that? That's what we're gonna do inside of Fusion. So I kind of model up just <laughs> a big, big, big sheet here. Um, and uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about a couple of different ways to, uh, to do this. Now, one way is to uh, open a sketch and uh, you could of course start drilling or start drawing a bunch of holes, but most of you guys know that I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to, uh, to CAD and CAM. So uh, let's just make a, uh, a small circle here. Let's place it from this edge to this edge. I don't know. We're gonna have a bunch of these in here. Like that, we can hit Q for press pull and uh, we'll just blast this hole through. So this, like I said, you could draw up, you know, all the different sizes hole you have. Of course, if they're all kind of same size, then one thing you do is you go in to the drop down and you find the rectangular pattern where you select that one hole, you select a linear edge Somehow I don't like extent, I like spacing. And uh, now you apply, you know, some kind of a, uh, a distance for your holes, however many you want in there. So let's say that we will do two, that's gonna be, well, it's easier to see if we start bumping it up. How many do we wanna fit in here on the sheet? I should probably have. Check this out before we got going. Let's do, see if we can do 25. And uh, of course, if I hit okay right now, last hole, it's gonna be a little bit in there. So right click edit. Let's make, instead of making 100, what happens if we make a 95? We're making 98. Now they look like they fit pretty in there. And of course we can also go in, uh, this was in, in, in one direction. We can also go in um, another another direction in here. So go in direction number two. And we want, we'll do the same thing. 98. So this is one way to do this. Okay, a lot of different holes model into your plate. When it comes to cam, let's go into the manufacturer tab. Let's create a setup and uh, let's go in and do, I always do the Z plane here, select that face. And uh, I'm gonna say that my zero is over here. When you go into drilling and uh, you select your tool, Let's go in here and select, oh, we've got a 10 millimeter drill that will work. Um, now, when you go to select the geometry you want, be aware of some of the really neat uh, options that you have in here. So you can go in here and say select face, and I select this face, now it's gonna drill that. If you say select same diameter, boom. It just found all the holes you have in here, and, uh, and you're thinking this is pretty cool. Right, like, and you can even do the same hole depth. So you don't have to sit there and click on every single one. You can use, um, you can use this technique. Now, um, there is a containment boundary option right here. And you're like, what the heck is that? Let me show you. I'm gonna hit okay and uh, just select all these. Now, if I go back out to our model environment and I open another sketch on that top face, and I'm just gonna draw a rectangle that kind of like encapsulates part of let's say that this is the table area we have now you probably figured out that when i go back into manufacture and i go back into this drilling operation that if i use containment boundary and select the sketch geometry look what just happened 
It only selects the holes that fits within that boundary. This mark is extremely useful um, because, you know, hey, now you can kind of control that. I want to show you another option also. So let me just go ahead here and delete our drilling operation back to zero. I'm actually going to go back out to the model and uh, let's go all the way back. So we only had one hole. We can actually also inside of the cam environment, go to manufacturer. I'm going to select that drilling operation I did before. Drill this one hole. Go in here to the geometry. Select that one face. So now that one face is, is drilled. That's, oh, that's, uh, I thought I selected that drill. Not too exciting. But did you know that with just one hole drilled in this plate, if you right click on that operation, you can actually say add to a new pattern. And what that means is that without the geometry in the solid model, the Fusion Cam developers are actually cool enough to give us the exact type of thing in here. So we can go in and say we want a direction. We wanted, how many did we put in there? 25 of them. And we had a 98 spacing. Look at this. It's just going to add all those drilling operations. Same thing if we're going in the other direction. Select here. And uh, we're going to do the same spacing, 98. And I can't remember. Oh, we're going to go in flip direction too. We're going to go, was it 12 maybe? It was 13. Whatever that was. And now by only having, we only having one hole in the model, but we can actually pattern that tool path in there. And really what just happens is if we're going to simulate this, really just what happens is that it will just repeat that same first drilling operation in the post. So your post output goes out that way. But this is uh, another way that if you have a bunch of holes um, that you got to drill and you don't feel like uh, patterning it in the CAD model. You can't just make one hole and you can do it uh, do it like that. Mark, thank you so much for your question. I hope this was useful. A couple of, couple of different ways that you can handle uh, drilling holes inside of Fusion 360. It's actually a pretty cool uh, command. I also did a live stream on uh, hole drilling. I can't remember, but I'll leave a link somewhere on up there on what that one was. Hope this was useful. Thumbs up if you like this. Thumbs down if you don't. That's okay. And uh, until the next time, have an awesome, awesome day. Take care, folks.